This is a short exploration of the creation narrative from Genesis chapter 1 by the Reverend Christine Fowler. Your comments on it will always be welcome. We tend to think of our Bible as a seamless whole, or rather two seamless wholes, in Old Testament and the New Testament, arranged in some chronological order. But of course, this is simply not true. The creation story, although at the very beginning of the first chapter in our Bibles, was not written until the Israelites were in captivity in Babylon around 1250 BCE. Our creation story is an anti-Babylonian poem, encouraging the exiles to keep trusting in the good purposes of their God, who they believed created the world as a place of life and flourishing. The ancient world were clear about two things. Firstly, the God, small g, who created the world, got to say how the world ought to be and how life ought to be lived. Secondly, who this God is was decided in battle, in which the strongest God won. The Babylonian creation myth was based on the chief god, Marduk, who created the world from the body of two other conquered gods. The world, therefore, for them, came into being through war and violence. This view was abhorrent and threatened the Israelites' faith, and so the exiles sent, set about writing their own version of creation based on their understanding of their god. The Babylonians had an eight-day week, and their creation story is an epic poem describing the creation of the world in those eight days. The exiles, the Israelites, adapted this myth to what we now have in our Bible. If you read it aloud, you will clearly hear the poetic formula. God said, let there be, and there was, and God saw that it was good. There was evening and morning of the nth day. Then God said, etc. But look at days three and six. They are different. God creates two things on those days instead of one. It interrupts the poetic formula. The eight-day Babylonian creation poem becomes the six-day Jewish poem, followed by the Sabbath. This is God's order for human living and flourishing, and a denial of the Babylonian view. In the Babylonian myth, cosmic order required the violent suppression of the feminine and was mirrored in the social order of the time by the subjection of women to men and the subjection of people to ruler. The message from the Israelites' creation story is that their God, who created the world, saw that it was good, full of life, animals, birds and fish, and all humankind, making a garden fit for everyone to live in. In the Israelites' mind and in their creation story, life would prevail, not death or suffering. Thank you for listening.